NTI day number 28, fourth grade science. Moving energy. Energy pyramids. Organisms in an ecosystem attain energy for, from food. A diagram called an energy pyramid shows how much food energy is passed from one organism to another along a food chain. The base of the energy pyramid shows producers. These organisms use energy from the sun to make their own food. The plant stores some of this food and the rest is used for life processes. The other levels of an energy pyramid represent consumers. Just above the producers are the plant eating consumers. Plant eaters use most of the energy from the plants for each pro for life processes. A small amount is stored in their bodies. Only about 10% of the food energy at each level is passed up to organisms in the next level of the pyramid. Because there is less food energy available, there are fewer animals at each higher level of the pyramid. Food chains and food webs. A food chain shows one path of energy flow, but most organisms get energy from more than one source. For example, squirrels and deer eat both acorns and blueberries. Several food chains that overlap form a food web. In a food web, animals that eat producers are called first level consumers. Animals that eat first level consumers are called second level consumers. Animals that are not eaten by other animals are called top level consumers. Changes in an ecosystem affect food chains and food webs. For example, when birds eat insects, they help keep the number of insects from getting too large. But if too many birds are eating insects, the birds reduce the insect population too quickly. Then there will not be enough food for the birds. Some will leave the area. Some will leave the area or die, and a few young birds will be born. This brings the ecosystem back into balance. And here we have some questions. An insect eats plants. A small fish eats the insect. A large fish eats the small fish. What is the small fish? A first level consumer or a second level consumer? Number two, why do food chains overlap? Two or more animals eat the same kinds of food. Some animals are producers. So, why do food chains overlap? B, two or more animals eat the same kinds of food. Or C, some animals are producers. Number three, use the picture to help you. Is this eco in this ecosystem, will there be the fewest of, let me start all over. In this ecosystem, there will be the fewest of which living thing? A small bird or an owl? Number four. In an ecosystem, chipmunks eat plants and foxes eat chipmunks. If the number of chipmunks increased, what would happen? B, the number of foxes would decrease, the number of foxes would stay the same, or the number of foxes would increase. Number five, you can use this illustration to answer a question. Think about what mice eat. In this partial food chain, what is the snake? He's a first level consumer, a second level consumer, or a top level consumer. Okay, and that is it for today for science.